day, Dark Bowls. Welcome to a new episode of Nettie's Notables. Yay! <laughs> this one is dedicated to my dear friend, Any Problems123, aka Andrew. You're such a good friend, Andrew. I want to say hi. <laughs> anyway, it's about dating advice, dating for disabled people, dating for any kind of person, pretty much dating and relationships. Yeah, everything under the sun. I'm going to cover under that um, <laughs> subject. Brain fart. Sorry. <laughs> anyway, um... What can I start with? Oh, uh, I'll tell you a bit of my dating history. Oh, well, uh, shall I give some dating advice first? Yeah, that's more exciting. <laughs> my dating in my dating history is slow to non-existent, actually. <laughs> um, I had a few dates here and there. It's nothing serious. I was engaged for two years, but that's besides the point. Anyway. <laughs> Bloody Americans. Um, <laughs> love you! <laughs> oh, I love my American friends. <laughs> They're awesome. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> I'm losing my mind. It's Friday night. I'm like totally hyper. But anyway, get back to serious mode here. Um, dating advice. Oh, well, this is the kind of advice I give to Andrew. I said, uh, for one, always be yourself. Never try to be someone you're not. Because if you be someone you're not and you end up caught in a web of lies, then you get caught eventually anyway. And you might as well be comfortable in your own skin, right? <laughs> <laughs> so always be comfortable in your own skin and try to be who you are and who you want to resemble yourself. And... And try to know what you want. It, it's just like you got to know what you want or in order to look for what you need or whatever. So um, when it comes to dating, I mean, I've been on this earth long enough to know exactly what I want when it comes to relationships. When I'm, uh, well, for one, I want a guy who can totally respect me and has a great car and, um... Yeah, he has glasses, and he's, um, <laughs> I'm losing my mind. Anyway, <laughs> oh my goodness, what the freak am I on? It's too much sugar, I think. Um <laughs> anyway, yeah. So, yeah, that's the first thing. Always be who you are and know what you want. Third, let me see. Don't create crap from people. I swear to something or other that <laughs> <laughs> that people put up with more than they deserve. I mean, I mean a lot less than they deserve. I meant to say. I mean, they end up getting like. Without a, um, the crappy end of the stick. And that usually happens with me. I usually get the crappy end of the stick. And I, I don't know why. I, I don't know how it happens. It just happens. It's just the way it is. And I learned to deal with it. And just don't take crap from people anymore. Um, <laughs> but please. My biggest fault, okay, this is my biggest weakness comes to relationships. Little sweet guys, I live with my heart on my sleeve. Ooh. I actually fall really, really quickly for the guys I'm very attracted to. So I'm like, oh, oh, she's falling for me. That's really scary. And like, what? <laughs> yeah, I'm losing my mind. But that's besides the point. So, <laughs> okay, I do fall so fast and to the point like I get my heart broken more times than I can shake a stick at it. Honestly, uh, my heart should be stone by now because it broke so many times. 
but it's not. I still got a soft headed heart. It's really, really soft to the point like I cry at pretty much everything. Uh, especially when a guy breaks my heart. Oh, I cry for weeks. I'm pretty much gone. I'm a basket case. Might as well, no help for me whatsoever until I actually get over it, which takes me a lot longer than most. I don't know why, but it just happens that way. And it just, phew, whatever. Anyway, <laughs> Beside, I also, um, I get, oh, oh my God, don't get me started on the stupid questions people ask me. Oh my God. Oh my goodness, seriously. Guys, I'm talking to you guys out there. Never, ever, ever ask a woman in a wheelchair, can you have sex? Never. <laughs> At least I get their name first, you know? <laughs> I mean, I'm on a couple of dating sites and some dude, I didn't know who who he was, didn't know his name, nothing about him. That's the first thing he asks me. He didn't ask me, what's your name? Anything actually average or normal person would say. <laughs> a respectable person would say. But it's like, <laughs> but he wouldn't do that. He'd be like, can you have sex? Um, yeah, but it won't be with you, dude. Sorry. <laughs> That's exactly how I said it, too. <laughs> no, without using any words. I typed it up. It's on my dating profile thing. And so I sent him a nice and snarky message back. Trust me. I don't get away. I don't let people get away with stuff like that. So I end up reporting him and blocking him and that kind of stuff. He's out of my life. Yes. Thank goodness. I'm just laugh about it now. <laughs> but the thing is, that happens more than not. It does. I don't know why, but it's like, this world is full of ignorant people. No, no offense. Not everyone is ignorant, okay? I'm not saying that. All I'm saying that a lot of guys who um, uh, won't give me the chance to prove to them I could be a good girlfriend. Um, for some odd reason, I don't know why. I'm asking myself this question. I scratch my head like, did I do something wrong? Do I have green hair coming out of my nose? Like, seriously? I ch check myself in the mirror 24-7. No, I'm kidding. But <laughs> I do check myself and make sure I'm not kind of indecent or anything so I just tend to you know be myself that's another thing you gotta be too when you're dating someone be yourself yeah <laughs> that's very important you gotta be yourself if you can't be yourself what's the point of being someone else <laughs> Sure, you could role play as someone else when you're doing something in an intimate relationship and all that stuff. You're into that kind of stuff. Sure, why not? It's fun sometimes, I guess. I don't know. I hadn't tried it, but whatever. To each their own. <laughs> all I know is I'm always myself, no matter if I'm in online, talking to people on Skype, talking to people on Facebook. It don't matter. <laughs> or even talk to someone at the mall on the exact same way as you would see me, like, in person. Like, when I'm typing, I'm the exact same way. I'm the most genuine person you ever come across. Like, I love everybody. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. Um, <laughs> yes, I do. I don't have a thing against anyone. I have this thing about I treat people the way I want to be treated and uh, that's one another thing I live my uh, life by and um, yeah I live my relationships like that too 
I treat people the way I want to be treated, and I never possess anyone, and not controlling, I, I just want certain things about, I wouldn't want a man, for one, to um, feel like he, he has to take care of me, per se, as, you know, they have to, they're, they're entitled to take care of me, or something, financially, or, 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 physically or just I just want a best friend boyfriend is that so hard to ask for <laughs> I feel like we're like pleading out here uh, <laughs> but anyway let's get serious folks should we get serious on a Friday night <laughs> whatever anyway <laughs> so anyway okay be yourself um, always know what you want. Um, yeah. What else? Oh, yeah, don't take crap from people. Yeah, that's it. Um, <laughs> uh, trust me, I know what it's like to take crap from people. I'll tell you a little story, okay? Yay! Um, so... I was in this relationship, this is my first relationship ever. Well, that was quote unquote serious. That lasted longer than two months. <laughs> it lasted almost four years actually. And this guy took me for a loop. It took me for a loop. He took advantage of me financially. He made me lose my cable, made me lose my phone. He put fraudulent checks in my bank account. That kind of stuff. Yeah, he was a bad, bad person. But I took it because I was in love with him. And that's one thing I will never do again. Ever. Is stand for that kind of BS. I wouldn't handle it. Um, I, I just don't stand for it anymore and I'm pretty picky about who I date now I, I, I make sure they're educated and you know somewhat <laughs> I'm not looking for Einstein here but I'm looking for someone who's like you know who remotely average intelligence you know actually has a high school education well you know <laughs> to help <laughs> Anyway, I'm sorry. I'm, uh, this is not a dating site by any means. YouTube is definitely not a dating site. But I'm on a couple. And I always post my pretty pictures. Like the way I'm dressed up like right now. Well, I look like crap right now because, well, my hair is stuck out like this, this thing of hair right here. Just sticking out like, oh my god. She like... What is she doing? But anyway, it was curlier earlier. It actually looked really nice for a photo shoot I had earlier today. <sighs> but that's the size of what I'm totally off topic. <laughs> sorry, sorry. I feel like such a doofus right now. But all I can tell you is be happy with who you are and um, no matter what your faults may be, I mean, I, I'm not perfect by any means. <laughs> I'm my worst critic, actually, when it comes to my looks and stuff. I don't consider myself pretty. I don't consider myself average. I'm a plain Jane person who doesn't wear makeup very much. Well, not very often. Only when I'm doing YouTube stuff. Because I want to look presentable and that kind of crap. Excuse me. So, yeah, what else? I think that's it for now. If you got any questions or want to um, continue this conversation, conversation below, feel free to comment and like and subscribe and share and do whatever and uh, yeah. 
And uh, <laughs> would it be nice to get some likes and stuff so I get some new subscribers? No kidding. <laughs> anyway, much love to you all. I love you. I miss you all. And